Welcome to our 18th video on roots, prefixes and suffixes. The theme for this video are the Latin roots spec, spic and spect, all of which I am sure would help us look at the words hanging on the tree branches from a new angle and help us memorize them. Let's start. The word roots spect and spic mean to see or to look at. We can memorize the meaning of this root from the easiest of these words such as spectacles. Spectacles is a common term for a pair of glasses which help us see or look at things. Similarly, a person who watches or looks on at a show, game or other event is called a spectator. And by extension, a spectacle is something which is seen and is very appealing to the eyes, such as a public event or a show or even a sporting event. An example sentence combining all the three words is Many of the spectators who watched the sporting spectacle were aided by spectacles or glasses which allowed them to see. The rest used other visual aids such as binoculars. Now just like spectacle is something which is seen, a related word is spectacular which is used as an adjective to describe something worth looking at or impressive enough. Something that is beautiful in a dramatic and eye-catching way. But the same word can also describe something that is strikingly large or obvious, like perhaps the spectacular victory of a party in elections. Now, before we move on to other interesting words, let's read a story which will help you relate most of these words with their meanings. The red highlighted words in this story are all based on the roots spect or spic. A famous circus was in town and Gaurav examined his prospects of attending the spectacle. He decided to request his father to take him to the spectacular show and spent nearly the entire day speculating about the possible outcome of such a request, about whether his father would agree or not. Finally, Gaurav mustered some courage and stormed into his father's study to express his desire. The first word prospects is something that you look forward to. Spectacle and speculate we have already introduced and the word speculate means to see something in a certain way that may or may not be true or may not be based on facts. In short, guessing. Moving on, little did he know that his father was already waiting to have a word with him. Lately, the father had been worried about a few aspects of his son's personality, especially his son's disrespectful behavior towards elders and suspected that Gaurav was bunking school as well. The suspicious father had inspected his ward's room and his belongings and had even contacted Gaurav's teachers for their feedback. Well, the word aspects means looking at the features or characteristics of something or someone and rest I guess are common enough. So continuing with the story, as Gaurav entered the room to request his father about attending the circus, he was met with the firm and determined voice of his father. In a lengthy diatribe that seemed like hours to Gaurav, his father started explicating a few instances of his past behavior. At first, he got reprimanded for his despicable behavior in the supermarket the previous day, which was quite conspicuous for everyone around, followed by a discussion on other similar episodes. The word despicable refers to an action or a person you look down upon, which means it is not worthy of seeing. And the word conspicuous means very easy to see and easily visible. Sharing with his son a wide spectrum or range of his own experiences and thoughtful reflections on life that the father thought were relevant to his son's case, the father was hopeful that he had given his son a new perspective, which means way of looking at things. The father specified or made it clear that he would agree to such requests in future, provided his son's prospective behavior, something that the father was looking forward to, and academic performance meets his expectations. Moving on, a few sweat drops trickled down Gaurav's face as he was visibly unsettled by the unexpected turn. The perspicacious, which means one who is able to see through clearly and understand the situation at hand, father could see through Gaurav's emotions and caught a glimpse of disappointment in his son's eyes. 
The father had been lax on previous occasions where Gaurav had exhibited similar behavior. Realizing that he needs to be circumspect, which means cautious this time, and show strictness in order that Gaurav corrects his behavior, he decided not to yield and turn down Gaurav's request. In retrospect, that is looking back, it was just another inauspicious or unlucky day for me, Gaurav exclaimed upon reaching his room. So that was the story. I hope it has captured your imagination and made you eager to see how all these words relate to the word root. Well, first we will look into the common ones such as inspect, which means to look into. Like we can see the detective is inspecting a crime scene. If we form a noun out of it, it would be inspection. Similarly, we have the word introspection, which means to look within oneself, as the prefix intro means within. Introspection is when your mind's eye, that is your thoughts, turn inwards and you spend time analyzing yourself, your actions and behavior, your personality. Expect is another common word which is formed by adding the prefix e to spect. The prefix e means out. So expect literally means to look out for something that you believe will happen soon. For example, they are expecting their second child this December. While expect is a verb, expectation would be the corresponding noun. And we have suspect which is formed by adding the prefix sub meaning under, to spect or look. If you look at somebody from below, you basically mistrust that guy, which is what the word suspect means. The word suspect can be used both as a verb and as a noun. For example, he suspected his manager of wrongdoing. Here, suspect is a verb. And the police have arrested the main suspect of the crime. Suspect is a noun here. Suspicion and suspicious are other related words. The next word is aspect. Made up of add and spect meaning to look at, the word originally denoted the action or way of looking at things. The word aspect means a particular part or feature of something like aspects of life. We can say that one strives for personal effectiveness in all aspects of life, be it financial or physical or emotional or social or even spiritual. Though the word could also refer to the positioning of a building or other structure in a particular direction. For example, we can say that the southern aspect of a particular hotel is faced by slum dwellings and hence unremarkable. Similar to aspects, we have the word perspective which literally means to look through. The word originally meant to look at something closely, but in contemporary usage, the simplest meaning for the word perspective is a point of view. According to dictionary, perspective is the appearance of viewed objects with regard to their relative position, distance from the viewer, etc. Like have a look at this picture. It seems like a hand is holding the Eiffel Tower, which is nothing but a trick of perspective. But more commonly, Perspective is a point of view, that is, a particular attitude towards or a way of interpreting something. An example sentence is, This incident has changed her perspective about the value of relations and life in general. Then we have the word respect, which is quite common in English. Since re prefix means back, the word respect means to look back and regard that guy. Respect is used both as a verb and as a noun, and the words respectable or respectful are its variants. We say that in Indian culture, touching the feet of elders is a mark of respect. Looking forward to some more words, we have the word prospect, which literally means to look forward and to form a mental picture or to anticipate some event. The following are usage examples of this word. If we say, this election, the prospects of the ruling party returning are bleak, prospect here refers to the first meaning, that is, the possibility or likelihood of some future event occurring. For the second meaning, you would have heard of cold calls prospecting, which means searching for new credit card or insurance prospects or potential customers. The third meaning of prospects is, a place likely to yield mineral deposits. 
For example, gold exploration prospects have been identified in this area. And the fourth meaning is an extensive view of landscape. For instance, the Table Mountain offers a magnificent prospect of Cape Town. A related word is prospective, which is used as an adjective to describe things that are likely to happen at a future date. A prospective buyer for your property, a prospective bride or bridegroom, or even a prospective holiday are the people or things in future that you look forward to. On the other hand, if we look back at events, the correct word to describe it would be retrospect. Retro means backward and hence the connection. The word retrospect is a noun and means a survey or review of a past course of events or period of time. And if we must form an adjective out of this word, it would be retrospective. An example sentence is, in the Bollywood movie Action Replay, a youngster realizes that his parents were not a happy couple in retrospect and seizes the opportunity to travel back in time to correct this. Another simple yet common word in English is circumspect. Since circum means around, circumspect literally means one who looks around before taking any action and such a guy is obviously exercising caution. He is being watchful, cautious and alert, which is what the word means. The related noun would be circumspection. An example of usage for this word is, The politicians have a responsibility towards the public at large and hence should be circumspect in their statements and should avoid putting their foot in their mouth. As you can guess, putting the foot in the mouth is an idiom that means being careless when you speak. Now let's have a look at some more typical words based on spect. From spesere meaning to look, we get the word spectrum which originally meant an image or an apparition. But in this meaning, we now use spectro instead of spectrum. You would have surely heard about spectro because it is one of the latest James Bond movies. Well, the word spectro means an image, especially one which is dreaded or feared by people. That is, a ghost. An example, in contemporary societies, people still dread any possibility of encounter with spectres and witches. In an extended meaning, spectre could also describe something widely feared as an un possible unpleasant or dangerous occurrence. Like, had a World War III happened, the spectre of a nuclear holocaust was inevitable. Back to the original word, Spectrum in contemporary English stands for a band of colors as seen in a rainbow produced by separation of the components of light by their different degrees of refraction according to wavelength. Apart from a rainbow, the same phenomenon happens in a prism where white light gets segregated into a spectrum of colorful rays. Though the word could also mean a wide range, say in this sentence. People marveled at the wide spectrum of colors woven in her silk dress. And the last of the words based on spect are speculate or speculative. To speculate is to look at something in a certain way that may or may not be factual or true. In short, to guess something. In an extended meaning, you speculate when you invest in a property in which you hope to make profits but has high risk of loss as well. Needless to say, it is wise to preserve your money and refrain from speculative investments. A similar word is specious. If something looks good or sensible, but actually it is not, we call it specious. A specious argument sounds plausible, but in reality it is based on an error, a fallacy or an untruth. A specious argument is a misleadingly attractive and wrong one. The corresponding noun is speciousness. Like let's hear out how this girl is trying to justify delaying her homework. She says that she saves all of her homework until the last minute because then she will be older, therefore more wise. This argument according to me is at best specious. And now we have the mirror root speck which again means to see or look at. The first and one of the most widely used word based on this root is conspicuous. 
Since the prefix con expresses intensive force and spicare means to look at, the word literally means to look at something very attentively. And if you look at something attentively, it becomes clearly visible, isn't it? So conspicuous is an adjective describing something that is clearly visible and attracts notice or attention, like the conspicuous or clearly visible divide between the rich and the poor as seen from this picture. Another sentence exemplifying this word would be, I had absolutely no difficulty recognizing her in public as she was wearing a conspicuous red hat with silk roses and large plumes. Inconspicuous would be the exact opposite of conspicuous. Now the bad ones. Despicable is again another popular word in English. Since the prefix D means down, despicable is something you look down upon, that is something that deserves hatred and contempt. The best example that occurs to me is that of the movie Despicable Me, where a super bad and so-called despicable criminal makes a grand scheme of stealing the moon and uses a trio of orphan girls as pawns, only to find himself changed for the better and become a super dad instead. Let's have a look at two words now, which are two sides of the same coin and yet are commonly confused. They are perspicuous and perspicacious. The spellings and meanings have a lot in common. The prefix per means through and the only difference between these words is that perspicuous is something that is easily seen through, like a perspicuous style of writing or perspicuous language or a perspicuous article is one which is clearly expressed and hence easily understood from one look. It can also describe a person who expresses things clearly. Perspicacious, on the other hand, is someone who is able to see through things easily and understand them quickly. So an example sentence for perspicuous would look like, the author writes in a perspicuous style which makes this novel an easy read. On the other hand, perspicacious detective looked around the deceased victim and understood easily that it was not a suicide. While the word perspicuity derives from perspicuous, from perspicacious we derive the word perspicacity. And finally, we have the word auspicious, which again is surprisingly related to the word root spic. The word hails from the root avis, meaning birds, and spicer, meaning to look at. So auspex originally meant observer of birds, and this referred to a time when the bird observers used to make predictions by observing birds. But now, auspicious as we know means lucky or something conducive to success. For instance, if you receive a windfall from somewhere, you would call it an auspicious moment, wouldn't you? And the exact opposite of auspicious is inauspicious, which means unlucky. And that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you liked it. Subscribe our channel and stay tuned for more such videos. Thank you.